Well, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to channel, click the subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'll be teaching you how to decorate your home screen on iOS 14. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to be showing you two different ways. A colorful, a super colorful way. So like if you're doing one color base. And then I have one. So I'm gonna, this is um a example of the one color base okay and then there's the multiple color so we're going to get into this video like i said like comment subscribe let's get into it So when you open up Widgetsmith, you're going to see small, medium, and large widgets. The large, I don't really like it because it takes up half the screen. I'm going to show you real quick. Once you click default, you're going to have multiple options. You can do dates, you can do times, but we're going to do photo. So you're going to click photo, it's right there. You're going to click photo, then you're going to click selected photo, then you're going to go to choose photo. You should already have your photos ready. Um, I think I pick the one with the crown in it, which is right next to the serial killer gun. So once I finally choose which one I want to do I know I took a long time I was being picky I chose that one and then I'm gonna space out and I would recommend to name it I named it pink you can name it whatever color you're trying to do then you're gonna exit out the widget smith you're gonna hold down on your screen and click the right hand upper corner plus button then you're gonna go here it's gonna show you here you're gonna scroll down to widget smith click it then add widget, you're going to add small widget since it was a small widget we did. You're going to click your home button and hold down on the widget smith and click edit widget smith. Then click that and then click pink. The one you just did basically. And boom. That's it for the creating a widget. Now I'm going to show you all how to do a color widget. So you're going to go to the color widget app. You're gonna, it's going to look like this. Um, I already have the one I want to do, but I'm going to do it all over. So you're going to click the plus button and then click the widget. And for this one, they're just going to show you all of them. Once you do it, it's going to be a large of it. It's going to be a medium. It's going to be a small. So the one I choose was a Nicki Minaj picture. You don't have to pick a color, but you can pick a font for the date. Or you could just make it a photo widget only, but that's just going to make it boring. So I click that one. And you're going to do the same thing that you just did for Widget Smith. It's, like, it's the same thing. You just get more options. You get a date on top of a picture. And you're going to go to the Color Widget app. It's going to look just like this. You're going to add Widget, a medium one, since it was a medium. And you're going to space out on the Home button. Then you're going to hold Edit Widget. Then choose. And I'm going to pick Widget 5, I think. Yeah. I recommend you name it. Yeah, it was widget three, but I recommend you name it so you know what one you're clicking. All I'm doing now is I added another widget, a, a small one, and I made another one with the serial killer gun, and I organized my home screen. So you can move the widgets around. You can make it look very flexible like this. There's other ways you can do it. You can just play around with it. But this is the main base one this is how you do a main base one color home screen for the widgets the widgets or the widget smith so here's the fun part we're doing multiple colors so this would be easier if you have a black or white but mostly black because black looks better so you're gonna need a black background as you can see we already have a pink slide um 
for the next slide, I'm going to do the Vampire Diaries theme because we like Vampire Diaries. So I'm going to go to Pinterest and we're going to just search up the Vampire Diaries um, or you could type in the Vampire Diaries aesthetic, whatever you want to do. I think I just typed in the Vampire Diaries. And once I do this, they're going to show me multiple images. And at this point, you're just going to pick images that you like for your home screen. All right, so now that I've chose some pictures already, we're gonna go add another widget. I'm gonna add a medium. Click on it, default widget. Then you're gonna go to photo. Like I said, you can do the other ones if you want to. But we're doing photo. You're gonna choose, and I'm gonna choose the Vampire Diaries. Honestly, to get rid of that white line, you're just gonna space out inside of another black background, but it's not really a big deal about it. I'm gonna label it as TVD, then I'm gonna space out, hold, plus sign, then you're gonna scroll to Widget Smith, add medium widget. I had it as Roddy Rich, but change it, edit widget, and then click TVD, and bam. Okay, so the next step, I think the next thing I did is my favorite part, is where I learned how to make an app. So you're gonna go to shortcuts. I don't know what we're doing here but I was moving it out the way so you're gonna go to shortcuts you want to see me go to shortcut you're gonna click on shortcut click the plus sign up in the right hand corner you're gonna add action and you're gonna type in open app it's gonna pop up click on open app then you're gonna click on choose and you can choose whatever app I decided to do settings because I haven't did settings yet so then you click the three dots then you type in settings for your shortcut name then you're gonna add home screen then you're gonna exit out put settings as the name click the purple square it's gonna be any color but click that square choose photo yeah you're gonna choose a photo and in this case I chose Bonnie I don't know why but I she, Cause she controls everything. But where we click Bonnie, and you're just gonna add, and you're gonna click done, and bam, she's on the home screen. And you can do this with all the rest of the apps. But in this case, if you're opening up an app, you're gonna do that separate from, every app's gonna have its separate action. You can't do it under the same action. Or it's gonna so this step is just making the app and then naming it after a character. So you're going to add action and you're going to type in nothing because it's not going to do nothing. It's just for decorize, like decoration. You're going to name the shortcut or just add to home screen. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I named the shortcut nothing. I'm going to name it Damon. Then I'm going to choose photo and then I'm going to choose a photo of Damon. Pure. And then you're gonna add that to your home screen, click done. Now with the nothing, I had already had one, so I just put two Gs, so don't worry about that. But with this action, you can literally add apps on top of apps for this one. So you're gonna click, you're gonna click it again, and you're gonna do nothing again. You're just gonna do the same thing with however many pictures you want. I think this next one is um, Kai. So you're gonna choose photo and I have a picture of Kai and 
bam and then they should just be on my home screen i don't know if i did it yet yeah i did so then they're on my home screen purr eh. All about how my life got flipped, turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air